It has been in the news a lot the past couple days. Private pictures of nude actresses hacked and posted on the internet. While the stars are considering taking legal action, many of you at home are probably wondering how you can protect yourselves from privacy violations. News Channel 15's Erin Rogers has been looking into this all evening and joins us now with what she found out. Erin. Mark and Heather, these celebrities have become hot topics for reasons they didn't want and couldn't even see coming. And it leaves the question for people at home, should they be worried? Dozens of actresses, including Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence, became the latest victims of a cyber attack. Photos they thought were private are now in the public eye. The best theory is that some hackers, they just sort of use brute force, right? Like they just tried and tried and tried to hack individual usernames and passwords. It's believed the photos were taken from cloud storage on mobile devices. The way it works is if you save a photo or any personal information, it not only saves to your smartphone, but also your tablet, home computer, maybe even work computer, where you can access all of the information from anywhere at any time. It's really hard to tell the difference between a secure and an insecure cloud service. Experts say the attack on celebrities was targeted, but with more than 320 million users on Apple's storage system alone, there is still some risk for you at home. Experts warn you should change your passwords frequently and have different passwords for different devices and services. The second your information leaves your device and goes up to another computer in the cloud, there is a small possibility that it can be intercepted. Use best practices like two-factor authentication, which basically means that you have to have a physical device with a special code on it in order to get past the username and password settings. But even still, the biggest lesson from all of this is to really be careful about what goes on your devices in the first place. Now, experts also say that if you do delete a picture or information from your phone, you need to assume a copy's already been made. So again, you just need to be careful about what you're saving on your tablets and phones. Heather, back to you.